always start videos with so. I love that. Anyway, we are diving in to talk about ideal client and niche and all of those shenanigans, different variations thereof, the things that we hear out there that we absolutely need to get nailed in order to get our business right. We need to have this ideal client. And so often this is taught in a way that means that you have to create a avatar, an avatar. And sometimes you're encouraged to give this avatar a name and that's dandy. I love naming ideal clients um, and love having that pet name for them. But you know, sometimes what happens underneath that is a whole stack of specificity. Let's get really specific. Let's get really specific about what they do, where they live, the type of house they live in, how many children they've got. Are they married? Do they have children? Um, what sort of magazines do they read? What sort of books do they like to read? What are they watching right now on Netflix? What is it that they need in terms of um, you know, lifestyle, what are they buying, what are they purchasing, what else are they looking at online? Did, 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 did. Okay, ridiculously overwhelming. And suddenly you find yourself going, mm -hmm. does it even matter? Does it? Like, really? And you will be told that that specificity will help you to create content. You will be told that that specificity will set you free. And I remember really struggling over this. And I remember really kind of going, eh, and I felt like I was getting down to, you know, what sort of knickers do they wear? What sort of pants are they wearing? Does it even matter? What size shoe are they taking? Yeah. It felt like we were getting that specific in how we were profiling our clients. Now, don't get me wrong. You kind of need to know who you're talking to in your business. Yes. Tick. You also need to know, you know, what um, is happening in their world. But what we don't need to get down and dirty with is what TV programme they're watching, what magazines they read, you know, what they are seeking in terms of entertainment, etc. For me, we move very differently. We shake, we shake in a different way. And I look at um, ideal client in a slightly different way. And I look at it in terms of um, their commonality rather than their specificity. So we're looking at what our crowd have in common rather than getting down and dirty with specificity that actually might not quite be hitting the nail on the head. So I know for a fact that if I surveyed my Facebook page that at the time of recording this has um, 10,900 people on there, they would have very different interests. I know that my crowd have an eclectic taste in music because whenever we talk about music, we go through all sorts of genres um, from Joni Mitchell to hard rock to pop to you know, 90s music, 60s music, you know, we have a whole plethora of musical tastes. That's okay. We also have a whole plethora of books and magazines that they read, from spirituality to very niched um, magazines that are about photography or creative writing or, you know, whatever that might be, to Bella, you know, and everything in between. We have people who really like to read um, self-development books. We've got people that really like to read soppy fiction and everything in between. So getting down to that sort of specificity of, you know, these are their interests actually wouldn't hit my crowd in its diversity. And I love its diversity. My crowd is like a city. It has such a diverse and beautiful vibe about it, it's such a colourful vibe about it. We don't say that you are can only be here if you are these things, this is the criteria. We welcome you with open arms if you've got shit in common with us. So really what we're looking at is commonality. Now in the Supernova Growth Capsule I teach commonality in terms of the boobs of business because I like to keep business really fun, fresh, exciting and always, always, always an adventure. And the boobs of business is about creating commonality. And it started off as being two islands. So I asked you to draw two islands. And on island one were 
the things that our crowd had in common that were their wars, their angsts, their stucks, their problems, their issues, the stuff that was grinding on them, the stuff that they were seeking to find answers to and resolve. So that was the first island, or the first. As we move over, we went to what are their hopes, their dreams, their aspirations, the things that they really want to achieve. Now, we looked at what that cleavage was, and we look at how you create your own bespoke heartbeat of your business, knowledge of your business, with this commonality, rather than the avatar specificity. Now, I don't mind if at the end of that, you name that client, and you give it a name, and you have that real vibe in your head of who you're talking to because that's really important to have that connection. It's about connecting to your audience, connecting to your crowd, connecting to the commonality in the people that you're speaking to because then you can speak to them in the right ways, in the right tones, being able to give them you know, the epiphanies that they need to be given and you are able to share your story in a way that is impactful because I'm all about storytelling too, you know, having, you know, real meat on the bones of something that I'm teaching and being able to help you to explore business through um, very different eyes so that it's not all like regimented um, because I'm quite a creative person. Um, but when we're looking at commonality, we can really get into that vibe, we can get into that zone, we can start to think about how it works for our audience, we can start to think about what they have in common and we can start to create that feeling for them. Now, when I'm designing a website, when I'm looking at a program, now I take this to a different kind of um, thought path and feeling, so I take this into a machine. Now, when I was a little girl, I used to go to the West Coast the northwest coast of England and visit a place called Blackpool. Um, if you're familiar, you will know that Blackpool have illuminations during the autumn months and they are just a whole cacophony of light displays that you can walk down, you can go on the trams past them. It's a very British thing to do, it's particularly a very northern thing to do. And you would go to Blackpool and you would see the lights. And one of these particular lights um, had this machine and it was a big green machine. Now it might have reminded me of Bertha. You might know what I'm talking about. You might not. If you don't, let me know and I might be able to see if I can find a YouTube clip that takes you there. But equally, what happened was, was that there was these old people on their walking sticks and their frames going towards this machine. And they were going through the machine they were getting rejuvenated and they were spitting out the other side as babies with big terry toweling nappies on. They'd been rejuvenated, they'd been regenerated. And when I'm creating something, whether it's my website, whether it's a program, I'm thinking about that analogy. I'm thinking about the people going in with their angsts and their strains and their stucks and feeling lethargic, feeling overwhelmed, feeling all of the feels, feeling all of the feels that I know that are common with my audience. So I've done this work of what they have in common and that's that's how they're going into the machine. Now the machine is either my website or it's my products, it's my programs, they're going through the machine and they're going out of the other side and out of the other side is their rejuvenated place, it's inspired, it's motivated, it's ready to take action, it's rejuvenated, it's like full of energy. So that's how I'm thinking about that process of when I'm then creating things on the back of it. So it's not just a concept that's written in a notebook and left for forever. You know, these concepts are things that I am then taking in my business on a day-to-day -day basis and teaching my rock stars to take into their business on a day-to-day -day basis in order to get that loop and that grind within um, the work that they're doing. So I hope that that's given you a little bit of insight into a slightly different way to think about your business, a way that might just set you free. And if you're super interested in that and the ways that I work in that kind of sense, then the Supernova Growth Capsule is the perfect place for you to go in all stuck and not sure and second guessing yourself and feeling like you might just be a big business fail and you can't quite get it right and you might have come this far, but you're not really 
where you want to be. Let's take you through the machine and out of the other side, completely ready to take action in your business. So I will let you go. You will find the link to the Supernova Growth Capsule around this video too, if you are interested. Um, go take a look and, you know, you, you lose nout by going and having a look, do you? There's nothing to lose by going and seeing if it's for you. Uh, so have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.